we want to simplify the given expressions using the order of operations. Notice all the expressions are in fraction form, and if we look at the first step in the order of operations, we perform all operations within grouping symbols. Grouping symbols include parentheses, brackets, braces, and fraction bars, which means when simplifying an expression in fraction form, we treat the expression as if there are parentheses around the numerator and denominator, which means we simplify the numerator and denominator separately, and then in the last step, we simplify the fraction. For this first expression in the numerator, six minus two is equal to four. In the denominator, five minus one is also equal to four. From here, because a fraction bar means division, four divided by four equals one. Of course, we can also think of this as four-fourths equals one. In the next expression, in the numerator we have seven minus one, which equals six. In the denominator we have six minus eight, which equals negative two. Remember, six minus eight is equivalent to six plus negative eight. Either way, the result is negative two. Then again, because the fraction bar means division, six divided by negative two equals negative three. The expression simplifies to negative three. In the next expression, let's rewrite the subtraction as addition. In the numerator, negative six minus negative four is equivalent to negative six plus positive four. In the denominator, negative one minus negative five is equivalent to negative one plus positive five. And now in the numerator, negative six plus four is equal to negative two. In the denominator, negative one plus five equals positive four. We have the fraction negative two-fourths, which does simplify because two and four share a common factor of two. To simplify the fraction, we divide the numerator and denominator by two, which gives us a simplified fraction of negative one-half. In our last example, let's rewrite the denominator as a sum. One minus negative nine is equivalent to one plus positive nine. So the given expression is equal to the quantity six minus two divided by the quantity one plus positive nine. In the numerator, six minus two is equal to four. In the denominator, one plus nine is 10. Four tenths does simplify because four and 10 share a common factor of two. To simplify, we divide the numerator and denominator by two. Four divided by two is equal to two. 10 divided by two is equal to five. The given expression simplifies to two-fifths. I hope you found this helpful.